Hey everyone, we're going to go through the new review management feature, also known as reputation management. Um, and it basically has two main aspects. One is the ability to send emails to your customers asking them to leave you reviews on pages like Yelp, Facebook, Google. And the other one is an internal feedback where you can ask them to either rate you as a company internally or your technicians and you can see how they score over time um, and have any feedback or comments. So first we're going to enable it by going to company settings, then features and plugins. We're going to find reputation management. It's free and included in the subscription. I'll click enable and then you'll see reputation here at the top appears. So we'll click that and this is where you can set up the two different facets. So we'll start with third party reviews. First we'll enable them. By default, we have email subject lines and an email body, and you can change that. So the email will say, how is your experience? And then the email body will say, we appreciate your business. Would you take a moment to leave us a review? And you can change this to say whatever you want, but that's the default. And then you'll have to enable. So by default, we put three, but you don't have to have them. You'll need to toggle them on. Um, and what you'll put here is your own Yelp review page where they can go to leave review or your own Facebook review page where they can leave a review, or Google, and if you have a different page you use, you can click here, you can name it, and then put in the review and add it to the list. At the bottom here, you'll need to put a contact us email. So instead of leaving a third party review, um, you can have them contact you and leave their feedback back to you instead as well. Um, and so that's how you set up the basics of third-party reviews. After that, you can also add triggers to have it automatically fire out. Now for the internal feedback, we'll go and enable this here. Um, and it will say, okay, do you want to request feedback scores on behalf of company or assigned user? So this is saying, do you want the feedback to just reflect the company overall, or do you want to attach it to the assigned user of that job and have it record for them over time so you can look at their average score. And so um, I would recommend typically assigned users so you can see how your different technicians and team members get scored over time and their averages and uh, their feedback specific to them. Like the last one, you can customize your subject line and body. So you say, how is your experience? Um, an email body, we appreciate your business. Please rate the quality of your service from and this will be who is assigned to the job, the assigned team member, the assigned user. Um, and it'll put in their name and their photo if they have one as well. Um, and that's basically how the internal feedback works, and I'll show you. So now that I have both of these enabled, I'll go ahead and save it. So we also have a triggers tab here, and this is the same triggers as customer communication triggers. The only difference is this will only show the ones related to reputation management for you to set up. So if we want to add some triggers, such as anytime the job is marked as completed, um, then we'll send out the request. It wouldn't really make sense to do that in progress, but um, or when it's created, but that's fine. Um, or you could say after a certain time after it's created, but typically you'd say, okay, when the job status is completed, then I want to either automatically send it prompt a confirmation, do timing, the different things that we have in our triggers. Now, what do we want to send? Either the third-party reviews or the internal feedback reviews. And you can set up both if you want. So you can say, okay, third-party reviews. They'll send out whenever it's marked as completed. Save. And then we can trigger another one um, for internal feedback. So... These might also just want to be triggered and sent manually, um, but this is only if you want an automatic trigger set up. So now that we have it set up, I'll show you what it looks like. So if I go to a job, let me find actually a customer with my email. Gmail.com. Nope, don't have any. So we'll just send create a new customer and uh, Gabriel Pinchev will use my work email. Boom. Address. Um, Dallas, that's fine. 
I'm going to quickly create a job for this customer. Doesn't really matter the information, but I will assign it to a team member. So let's say this is assigned to Caleb. It's fine. Nope. So there's a few things. One, I can just trigger manually the customer communications for these once the job is completed. It'll be third party reviews or internal feedback. That's the default name that's set up based off um, the feature or we can wait for the, it to manually trigger based off of the status changes. So um, I think one was set off in progress and then one was triggered off of completed. Um, so I believe two emails should now have fired off. Uh, one is asking us to leave a review and the other one is asking for feedback rating. You'll now see two different emails. Um, because we have both automatically sent. The first one will be, okay, we appreciate your business. Please rate the quality of service from Caleb. And you can click your star rating. So if Caleb was a five, I'll click five. And then it'll take me to a new page where you can also leave comments if you want. Caleb was amazing. And then the owner will get an email and then it'll also record to the job and it'll record to the customer and it'll record to Caleb so we can see historically all that was rated and how it was rated in the feedback. Um, now for looking at the other email, it'll look like this. It'll say, how was your experience? We appreciate your business. Would you take a moment to leave us a review? Leave a review on Yelp, Facebook, Google, or contact us directly, which just opens an email reply. And so when they click these links, it'll take you to your Yelp or your Facebook or your Google where they can leave you um, a review. The last part to showcase is in the reporting. So um, you'll also see after the feedback score is left, you'll see the customer feedback score on the customer profile here. So if you're looking back, you can see what they left you. Uh, but otherwise, we'll go to management reporting, and now there'll be a review management. And you, you can either do a raw report where you're just seeing all the different feedback and scores. So we can see, okay, on this date for Caleb, he got a five, here's the feedback, here's the customer, here's the related jobs. So if you just want all the different um, feedback reports, you can just do a raw data dump like that. Or if you wanna do a report such as an average or a total amount. So feedback score average from this date range and group it by user, by company, we'll run a report. And then they'll say, okay, these are the average scores for each team member over that time period. And only Caleb has one, so his is a five, all the others are zero. And so if you had 10 different ones, it would take the average and display it here. Um, and we're gonna eventually work on some different views to make it a little prettier and automated and stuff, but this is using our basic reporting function so you can get this functionality in.